Um, <clears throat> I can work a 40 hour, well, no, I can work a 30 hour weekend. Um, 40 hours if you include, or even a little more, uh, Friday night as part of the weekend. Um, I know this is a good time to claim that because I've done that in the last couple weekends. Um, I, I am, I believe in slack, um, you know, and sometimes people joke, my friends will stop by in the middle of the day and they're like, oh, are you off work today? And I'm like, no, I'm just, you know, on a long lunch or I went to the beach first or, you know, and it, yeah, because you decharge, you, you focus on what you have to deliver. I focus on what I promise to deliver and I make sure to make those promises regularly. And then if I've got it all under control, then hey, go into the beach during lunch and taking an extra, you know, hour uh, is uh, productive. I'll, you know, I'll wind down and when I get back and, oh, there's a problem and then I have to work till, you know, midnight to fix it. I'll be like, I get to go to the beach when I want to. And then when there's a real problem, I have to do it. And to me, that's maturity. I like that feeling. That's the way I take that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is a funny thing, talking to my friends. I like friends that are laid back. Yeah, what, what? Oh my God. I mean, he was talking to him about, I worked 100 hour weeks. And that's how I learned this, you know, working in the dot com and game industry, both. Um, there's, there's a lot of that. And, um, the people do get burned out, but there's, I mean, it's amazing how much you can work. I mean, when it's programming. And it is hard. It's like doing math problems. So you know, 10 hours of doing a math problem is painful for people. On the other hand, some people like math. And so with program programming is not like doing a math problem in the sense that you have to like math. I mean, I worked with tons of programmers that say, I'm not good with math. You know, they kind of understand the concepts, but not that much. I just mean that it's an abstract thing like that. You, you can love it or hate it or, but people that really love it, and or just myself, you know, I, I I could I could program 15 hours at a time nonstop. I mean, if the sleep didn't start to intervene, I as far as I know, I could just program constantly. Wouldn't necessarily be good for me, but and you know, I have many times you work long series sequence of 15 hour days programming, designing programs, and programming. And, um, yeah, 15 hour day, I can do a 15 hour day f f forever if there's somebody to do laundry. I mean, you can't take care of any of your life. You need support. I mean, one reason people that do that need to be paid well is because they literally have to pay people for everything. It gets expensive when it starts being like, you need to pay, you know, a babysitter that can stay till midnight on a Tuesday or something. And you're even going to go home, but you have to work. You can't get up. You don't have time to get up for an hour because of some issue. So it's hard to have family and things like that. That was always my, that's how I, why I said, well, I'm going to take the time back, you know. And I love, luckily I love programming at night. So I've always been able to say, well, look, my, my kid needs to go home. I'm going home half day. I'm going home. And you know what? She needs to be taken care of. I'm not going to sit on the computer and program and just let her lie there while I'm nearby, you know, she's going to, I'm going to play a game with her and bring her soup and, you know, I don't have time to work. And then she falls asleep and, you know, she falls asleep at nine and I can work, you know, what, six hours till three, easy, no problem. Um, might be a problem if some incompetent, mediocre fucker is going to go, why aren't you in the work at eight today? It's like, because I was up till three working for you. And now I'm working again and I'm going to go till three again tonight. So would you just shut up? What have you done? It's 10 o'clock. What do you have done? So, um, uh, yeah, it's an interesting thing. I, I, I don't believe in workaholism, but my take, like so many things, is this balance thing of where I try to, to put them both in balance. But Anyway, yeah, back to that detail. 15 hour days, it leaves you nine hours for sleep. So you, I, I can program those. You do two of those, you got 30 hours on one weekend. And you program, it, it's hard to do a 12 hour day after working somewhere else. 
Um, it's hard to do a 10 hour day, but you know, again, this is a good time for me to, to say that because I came home from work the other day and worked a 12 hour day. I worked till uh, I came home five, started programming on my own thing. And I worked till five in the morning. So, uh, you know, and I, it's, it's lucky to do this. I'm not saying this applies to all work. This is definitely, for me, a computer work thing. My method is taking advantage of the fact that I, I work in an area that was just my hobby that I, that I love. You know, the, the fact that I can work on a machine that, see, when you're programming, it's, it's math and a lot of straight thoughts like, who's the president of Zimbabwe? come through and it's like what does that have to do with this loop and then it's like I don't know but I want to know and then suddenly you're writing a variable Zimbabwe what the fuck and with the internet you just go to it click Zimbabwe okay it's Batatunde okay great you know I just made that up I, it's not Batatunde that's not even a real African name okay um, that's so I'm lucky you know I'm not saying everything can do this and so I'm sort of talking in general like any job that this makes sense and um, you know, there's obviously a lot of workaholic jobs, and some of them maybe are the kind of thing that it's because, the, like acting, the person is dedicated slash in love with it. So yeah, I, I think working hard is is really good. I mean, um, and. Uh, you know, I think physical labor you should minimize. I think that with the legal like work consideration of a full work week should be moved to 30 hours a week. A 40 is just above the stress line. I think 30 is pretty much below the stress line, but still below, I mean, still above optimal. I think basically a 20 hour work week is what, uh, is kind of a standardish idea, you know. If that seems minimal to people now by our current standards, I mean, we used to have 60-hour, 80-hour work weeks for, you know, workers. The New Deal was the that okay, it's going to be for 40 hours and you get the same pay. I mean, that was the New Deal. That's what that was meaning. Um, can you imagine? We're working 60 hours, getting paid a certain salary for all these people or run them out and and suddenly we're going to work 40 and get the same amount. Can you imagine arguing for that? They'd be up in our communist. It was like back then they said, you better hope it's not communist because, um, but anyway. So, yeah, I think it should be moved to 30 now. And, and as a worker type that, you know, that to me it starts to feel like, oh, that is uh, that's so low. But I know analytically it's not low and that 20 would be better. And then, however, it's not that it's bad to work more. Um, but depending on what people are going through and family things and how much they've worked in the past, you know, it, you, it's good to be able to zone down to that level and that should still be productive. I think society can survive on this kind of labor if we put it together efficiently and with good infrastructure. But, um, you know, you're going to have to then face, you know, the workaholics and the people that need to be asked by their family to work less or supported by their family so they can work so much and their dedication and how that goes into obsession and how things can be useful for society but hard on an individual and so on and so forth so forth. So I'm just putting a lot of these things out. I mean, even though I work like that and I'm thankful I was in an industry that trained me sometimes when I, you know, I did the training because they were demanding it and sometimes I, um, I voluntarily said, yeah, I can do that. And that, that was later when I said, when I knew what was involved, it's like, yeah, I can do that. I learned how to do that, how to, how to do the, you know, what it takes to decompress as you go and stuff so that you can keep thinking these abstractions and not get confused and mentally exhausted. Um, I, I worked for Sierra Online and uh, Ken Williams, the CEO, and, one point sent out a letter which is crazy some artist was there late at night and he was bitching about the royalty system and why am I here late at night and you guys don't really appreciate it but you make us work crazy and Ken Williams was like well if you want to work 60 70 hours a week that's pretty good to stay you know we're high tech and we're important and, you know, that's good to just stay ordinary but you know yeah you're gonna be dedicated and you know things are happening you're gonna be in there 90 
100 hour weeks the dedicated biz just the way it is and then he ended up fucking everybody over but anyway uh, whatever so I don't believe in that kind of workalism you tell other people hell no and I take my 20 hour weeks you know I quit a place one time because it's like I had worked for them just 100 hour weeks for months and it was a, I had taken on a job and they're like well we have this deadline oh my god can any of you and I'm like well, I can't quite do that, but we'll get something by then and something really good by it shortly after, and we'll make it to you can update itself and we'll do do do. do. And we did it. Then I did that, and I'm like, okay, I'm taking a three week vacation to Hawaii. And then I'm like, no, oh. no, four week. I'm like, no, no. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I have way more than four weeks of overtime that I've given you for free in the sense that I'm salaried. So, what? Well, but, but we're still worried, and what have you done for us this week? Well, I'm not laying you a golden egg every goddamn week, okay? Um, some weeks I'm going to go to Hawaii, and I did go, and they bitched and bitched and moaned about it. But, of course, I went anyway, because that's a problem. When I did quit that place, they were, like, desperate. They were like, no, they're just so, so stupid. Okay, the way people... Ugh. You got somebody willing to work 100 hour weeks because it's necessary and then they're like okay we got a cruise you guys take care of it let me recharge and they're like no i like electric cars but i don't like to recharge the battery sorry since i will demand that the battery does not need to be recharged because we don't have time for it we will drive around with the dead battery and that's just the way that it is mr getting the clock i don't think so anybody that gets an engineering attitude to things like that is like, oh, we have to build a bridge that will fall down while we're building it on us and kill us? No, actually, bye. And usually the idiots that say that kind of thing, they know they can't build a bridge. They're like, oh, okay, fine, you can build one that stands up. Jesus. So sensitive. Martha, we can't, we can't go to Europe this summer after all. Alright. Bye.